Welcome to a brand new week here on NFL Daily. I am merely Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us as we are looking ahead to the 2025 NFL Draft, the 2024 Draft in the books, and it is a little too early maybe, but that's okay to be looking ahead to next year's draft. ESPN's Jordan Reed put out his first mock draft for next year. We'll go over all 32 picks some trades included as well. The draft order, by the way, is based on the Super Bowl odds from ESPN Bet and then how they would reflect in the NFL playoff standings as well. So we'll go over that in just a matter of moments and give our thoughts on the selections made by Jordan Reed here on today's show. Before we do, I got to ask you, what team won the 2024 NFL draft? What team stood out to you among the rest that had the best performance now that we're a couple weeks removed here from the NFL Draft. Way in the comment section, let me know who you think that team was, and we'll get started with today's show. With the first pick in the 2025 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers trade the pick to the New York Giants, and the Giants trade up to select Carson Beck, the QB out of Georgia, one of the Heisman favorites in 2024. The Georgia Bulldogs one of the uh, heavy contenders for the college football playoff this year, coming off their first missed playoff in the last couple of years and where the national championship streak ended. They'll look to get back on track and have Carson Beck lead the way. With the second pick, the Commanders go with another player from Georgia as Mikel Williams, the edge rusher, gets selected by Washington. Then New England at three, they go offensive tackle. Will Campbell out of LSU getting some protection for Drake May there in Foxborough. At four, with the Panthers trading from the Giants, they move down a few spots, and they go edge rusher from Tennessee, James Pierce Jr., who uh, just a few days ago, PFF, was projecting that he'll be the number one overall pick in next year's draft. And then our next quarterback off the board, This would certainly be a party as uh, ESPN has the Las Vegas Raiders selecting Colorado quarterback Shador Sanders. The star quarterback for the Colorado Buffaloes started his career at Jackson State, followed his dad to Colorado, coming off a disappointing four-win season, but he was electric and had a chance to be a first-round pick in this year's draft, ultimately opted to stay in school And now he's got a chance to prove himself. I'll say this. I I like Shador as a terrific talent. I didn't like how he handled uh, the recent comments about one of his former teammates transferring out and all that. So we'll see what he does with some growing up to to do. But nonetheless, what do you guys think? I like Shador Sanders more than I do Carson Beck personally. I think he's the best quarterback in this draft. What do you guys think? Is Shador the best quarterback in the 2025 draft? It's our pin copy today. Let us know what you think. Why for yes, in for no, is Shador that dude? Let me know in the comments section. At six, the Denver Broncos, they go offensive tackle as the eyes of Texas are upon Kelvin Banks Jr. out of UT, one of a number of players from the University of Texas in this mock draft that we'll get to here in just a bit. Then at seven, the Arizona Cardinals, they go with a unicorn here. Will Johnson, corner from Michigan, is the selection. At eight, the Minnesota Vikings. They go with another Michigan Wolverine. Back-to-back picks from Michigan as Mason Graham, the defensive tackle, will be joining his former teammate, J.J. McCarthy, there in Minnesota at eight overall. The Saints at nine. They go edge rusher from Penn State, Abdul Carter. And then rounding out the top ten, we see a receiver come off the board. The very first one, that is Luther Burden III out of the University of Missouri to Tennessee. Not uh, nearly as good of a year when it comes to receiver talent as what we saw this year prior. Then we move ahead to the 11th selection, the Seattle Seahawks. Mike McDonald, after his first year in Seattle, he gets uh, maybe the best athlete in this year's draft. That is Travis Hunter out of the University of Colorado, expected to primarily be a corner at the next level, but maybe we see a team potentially let him play both ways, at both corner and receiver, and Mike McDonald would certainly have a lot of fun adding that type of weapon to the Seahawks for sure. 
The Steelers, they have two quarterbacks right now, Russell Wilson along with Justin Fields, but uh, Jordan Reed, not too sold on the long-term prospects of those two as he has the Steelers going with Quinn Ewers, the quarterback out of the University of Texas. He's got a ton of pressure on him, and there's always going to be pressure when you're the quarterback at the University of Texas. But with Arch Manning sitting in the wings waiting for his name to be called here, how's Quinn Ewers going to perform? And the way I look at this, folks, is that if Quinn Ewers has a very good year in 2024, it's a golden opportunity. I think scouts are going to love that if he can rise to the occasion with Manning right there on his heels, if he can be a top quarterback and take Texas back to the college football playoff and continue the SEC, it's a little risky, sure, having Arch behind him, but there's a chance for a big reward ahead for Quinn Ewers if he has a big year in 2024. Who is the better QB in Austin? Is it Quinn Ewers or is it Arch Manning? Could we see the Manning legacy start this year in Austin? What do you guys think? Type Quinn for Quinn Ewers. Type Arch for Arch Manning, producer Big Tex. He's being a loyal Texas fan. He's just spamming both of them in the comments section. Join him in the comments and let me know which one you're going with. We have NFL rookie jerseys on sale now at chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. Whether you want to represent Caleb Williams or Drake May or Jaden Daniels, uh, maybe it's a player from your favorite college team or your favorite pro team, whatever it may be. we got plenty of options for you, and you can get yours now at chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. These jerseys are going fast. They are going quick, folks. And we have all sorts of different sizes, men's and women's options as well. Something for everybody. Chatsports.com slash NFL jerseys where you can get yours today. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. That's chatsports.com slash NFL jerseys. At 13, the Buccaneers go corner from Notre Dame, Benjamin Morrison. Well, at 14, the Indianapolis Colts go Malachi Starks, safety from Georgia, as the Dogs continue to represent in the 2025 draft. Then at 15, the Chicago Bears go edge rusher from Florida State, Patrick Payton, uh, there with the pick. At 16, the Chargers, they go wide receiver with Teatrail McMillan out of the University of Arizona. And at 17, we see the Jags. They go corner, finding Denzel Burke uh, out of the Ohio State. Well, at 18, the Browns go offensive tackle Emory Jones Jr. from LSU. 19, the Rams. They go defensive tackle as they pick up Deion Walker from the University of Kentucky. And then at 20, the Atlanta Falcons, they go edge rusher as uh, they will not be taking another quarterback in next year's draft. Uh, Nick uh, Scaranton, edge rusher from Texas A&M, is the pick for Atlanta. At 21, I think this guy's the best receiver in this year's draft. I'm surprised he went this far. Amike Abuka out of the Ohio State. He had a chance to be a first-round pick in this year's draft, ultimately decided to stay in school, wants to contend for the Big Ten, finally beat Michigan and go out there and win the national title. He's back there at Ohio State this year, and he'll be the Buckeyes' at number one receiver. This would actually pair him up with Garrett Wilson there in New York with two Ohio State receivers leading the way there. Then at 22, we see Colston Loveland, the tight end from Michigan to the Miami Dolphins. At 23, the Green Bay Packers, they go edge rusher J.T. To a Malola, uh out of the Ohio State. He was another guy that could have been a first-round pick at this year's draft as well. At 24, the Texans, they go linebacker. Harold Perkins Jr., one of the best returning linebackers in all of college football in 2024 to Houston. Then at 25, we see edge rusher Danny Dennis Sutton out of Penn State as a couple of edge rushers from the Penn State and Nittany Lions come off the board already through 25 picks. We'll finish the rest of this first-round mock in just a moment, but we want to know, who's your favorite prospect in the 2025 NFL Draft? Is it Shador Sanders? Is it Mike Buga? Is it uh, Quinn Ewers? Let me know in the comments section. Give me a name that you're excited about in 2025. Maybe it's somebody we're not talking about right now. Let us know in the comments section below. NFL Dailies uh, got you covered each and every day with the latest happenings across the National Football League as we bring you daily news and rumors. We're also bringing you live shows a couple days a week as well. 
and we are staying up to date with everything that's happening. What you need to know across the National Football League, we got you covered. Subscribe now for free. Join the family and never miss a moment. Best part about it, 100% free. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. All right, the Dallas Cowboys. They go receiver Evan Stewart, wide receiver from the University of Oregon at 26 overall. Well, we see another Longhorn, Isaiah Bond, makes the move from the Alabama Crimson Tide to the Texas Longhorns. He's expected to uh, replace Xavier Worthy and Adnai Mitchell as the de facto number one receiver in Austin this year. He goes to the Bills, who they could probably use Isaiah Bond right now, if we're going to be honest here. Uh, Meanwhile, at 28, we see the Bengals get some offensive line help. They go offensive guard Tyler Booker from Alabama. At 29, the Detroit Lions go edge rusher with Ashton Gilliatt with the selection. Then at 30, the Ravens, they go edge rusher with Landon Jackson from the Arkansas Razorbacks. At 31, the Kansas City Chiefs go with Kenneth Grant, the defensive tackle from Michigan. Another Michigan Wolverine off the board there. And you got to give credit to Sharon Moore for the job he's done to really keep all this talent away from the transfer portal despite Jim Harbaugh leaving. That's going to be a very good team to watch. Won't be a rebuilding year for the Wolverines. It'll be a reloading year in 2024. And the final selection of the 2025 NFL Draft, the Super Bowl champion San Francisco 49ers? Wait, somebody actually thinks they're going to get it done in February? That's funny. Uh, They go Walter Nolan, the defensive tackle from Mississippi, Began his career with Texas A&M. Texas A&M moves on from Jimbo Fisher. He enters the transfer portal, heads to Mississippi. And I got to tell you, I really like that Mississippi team this year. What Lane Kiffin's putting together, getting a guy like Walter Nolan, who I think is going to be one of the best defensive players in college football. Not only does Walter Nolan have a chance to be a first-round pick and an All-American, but watch out. The Ole Miss uh, Rebels, I think they got a chance to compete not just for the SEC, but for the national title this year. Don't sleep on Ole Miss, I'll tell you that right now. What do you think of Jordan Reed's ESPN mock draft for 2025, the way too early edition? Give your grades in the comments section, A, B, C, D, or F. I don't hate it, to be honest. I'm going to go solid B+. Give me your grade in the comments section. We'll see you next time right here on NFL Daily.